We are currently moving nine buildings for the Will County Historical Society and we're in the village of Lockport and we're sitting in the schoolhouse and it's one of the three wood frame buildings that we're going to pick up and move. There's quite a few different building styles here. We've got the railway station, which is a balloon construction building. We're sitting in the schoolhouse, which is a timber frame, a well done timber frame. I need about two inches this way. We've got the house next door, which is a timber frame, and then we had a couple log cabins, and then we're also moving a stone smokehouse. It really encompasses about, you know, 200 years of building method. We've already dismantled six buildings, or five buildings rather, and moved one. We've moved the jail in about four days. I'm, I've been very, very impressed with them, and I know they do new construction. Um, they do a lot of restoration. I know they've worked with the Forest Reserve District before on the Cloud Barn um, here in Will County. So um, I've been very impressed with the, what they've been able to accomplish um, in such a short time. They've given me some advice on what we might do um, in the next phase when we go to rebuild the structures or restore the structures, particularly the log cabin, which had already been moved twice um, onto our property. We'll be moving it a you know, third time and re re reconstructing it. Um, so he's um, obviously got some good advice about how we might want to reconstruct that building because there has been damage over the years. I mean, the, it was built in the 1830s, so it's, it's seen a lot, of, um, a lot of years. Our ability to reconstruct or interpret or dismantle has everything to do with the fact that our training lies in the construction of buildings of this type. We've got a highly trained staff. Um, we really run the gamut as far as our capabilities go within our staff. And they also have a lot of um, skills and knowledge of, of parts that we're going to have to completely reconstruct from the roofing structures to the windows and doors um, which are not original to the structure as it sits today. I believe in order to dismantle and interpret and reconstruct and replicate, you also have to understand how to just do it. And you have to understand the process and you have to understand the tools. And what we do on a day-to-day -day basis is build buildings just like this. We really go from one end of the state to the other and a couple states around doing window restoration work. We've done everything from large storefront downtown buildings in Chicago to residential homes, courthouses, churches, other public buildings. And generally we're called in to do something like that when an architect has specified that um, restoration. the building needs to retain its original architecture from the outside and not just have an aluminum window or something like that put in place. We restore the sash, we replicate the sash, we install weather stripping and we put the windows back together, usually with the original weights. The other aspect of window restoration with us um, is that the windows end up being all operable. They just they do a good job and it's, it's uh, just the way I've observed them operate and I'm uh, very pleased with them, very consummate professionals. Most of the buildings we work on are 100 plus years old and this is the first time in 100 years that the windows have been maintained. So window restoration is really not about replacement or anything other than this is just regular maintenance. So the, the idea that you can get three or four hundred years out of a single window unit is not a new one and it's sort of the philosophy behind why we do this. These materials don't need to be thrown away just because they're old. They can be restored, they can be maintained and good historic windows pre-1900 if they're regularly maintained properly every 20 years, not just caulked up and painted, can have a service life of three or 400 years. And this is part of Trillium Dell's philosophy in sustainable buildings.